Hi, I'm Tony Blyas and welcome to ilearnthings.com. This is episode two, basic data entry. What we're gonna do today is create a simple table and I'm gonna show you some tricks on how to fill it with data in a spreadsheet. So here we have a blank spreadsheet. Um, first thing we probably wanna do is uh, go over some of the keyboard shortcuts to navigate between cells. You can select any empty cell. If you hit enter or return on the keyboard, it just takes you down one row. If you hit tab on the keyboard, it takes you over one column. If you hit shift tab on the keyboard, let's hold down shift and then hit tab. It takes you the other direction one column. Now if you hit shift and return or enter, it takes you up one row. So what we're going to do now is create the column headings of our table. Our first column is going to be a series of numbers. So we're going to call it numbers. Next column is going to be first name. Now, if you want to add a space uh, between first and name, or if you misspell anything that you put into one of the cells, you can just hit shift tab and type over it again. Third column is going to be last name. Another way to correct a misspelled word, or if you want to, in this case, add a space between last and name, is hit shift tab to get back to the cell that you uh, want to correct. And in this box in the top, click your mouse cursor between last and name so that you see the blinking cursor between the two words you want to separate and put in a space. Hit enter. When you hit enter, it'll take you back to the first column um, because OpenOffice is smart and it uh, it's figuring out that we're creating a table here. So it begins in the first column of uh, each row when we hit enter. What we're gonna do in the numbers column is, is put a series of numbers from one to 10. Um, and one easy way to do that is just to type in the first number you want, in this case one, and hit enter. Now if you select the number right here, you see a uh, bounding box with a little uh, black handle. When you move your cursor over it, it turns into a plus sign. Uh, this is kind of nice because it lets you drag this number down and automatically generate the numbers that you want. In this case, the numbers 1 through 10. If we were to start with 2, it, it would start at 2 and go to whatever number we want. Um, click over in the empty cell for first name and we're going to add our first first name which is going to be Tony. Hit tab to go one over one column and we're going to put in the last name Pelias. Now if we want to copy these uh, down uh, another way you could do it is highlight the cell that you want. Go up to the edit menu select copy Highlight all the empty cells that we want to fill with the information. Go back up to the edit menu and hit paste. The keyboard shortcut for this would be Control C or Apple C. Shift select the cells that you want and Control V or Apple V. You can also use the same technique that we used to fill in the numbers by dragging this uh, black box down the cells that you want to fill. And it fills them up for you. But because it's not a number, it's not going to change any of the information. It's going to keep it the same. Now let's say you want to delete this or you have too many rows. Just highlight the rows that you don't want. And keep one through five in this case and hit delete on the keyboard and you'll see a little menu pop up that gives you a few different options uh, we'll get a, more into the details of these later 
but uh, in this case you want to delete everything so just select the delete all option and hit OK. So that's pretty much it for this episode. I want to thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.